Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing our Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus for March 2020. This regular Ipsy bag right here is $12 a month. In here, there should be five samples, sometimes full size, sometimes deluxe size, catered to the beauty profile. In this profile, I have a more adventurous profile, more adventurous makeup, um, different hair color, eye color, all that stuff. So not me. Uh, just a different profile on this one. And then the Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month. In here there should be five full-size products catered to the, um, your beauty profile. This is my normal beauty profile, more neutral makeup, comfortable with makeup, correct age, eye color, hair color, all that stuff. So it's just sort of an experiment to see if your profile really matters, what the difference is between a Plus bag and a regular Glam Bag, and just to see what's in here, honestly. So, as always, we will start with the regular glam bag. I like to do this one first for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am a cruelty-free sort of gal, so if there's anything in here that's not cruelty-free, I won't be using it. I'll be putting it to the side for a giveaway. Um, also, if I don't know if something's cruelty-free at the time of filming, I always put that in the description box right down there, as well as breaking down the value of the box to find out whether we're getting a good deal or not. Okay, let's just go ahead and open her up. I should also mention real quick, too, that Ipsy does let you pick one item that will be in your bag, so you get an email every month, and then you can choose between, like, five items that one of those things will for sure be in your bag. I don't recall what I chose this month, so... Um, I never remember. I don't even know if I chose, so it's always a surprise to me. Okay, so anyways, here's the bag this month. Really cute. It's like a green teal sort of color, and it's got these little metal studs on it. They're really cute. And then the lime green zipper, and then right here it says Ipsy 100th, 100th Ipsy Glam Bag. Interesting. Is it my 100th, or is it their 100th? Must be their 100th. I don't think I've gotten 100 of these. Okay, so... Right here, this little card will have the theme for the month, which is Celebrate You. Okay, interesting. So it says, let's high five how far we've come and where we're going to get the party started. We've added a bonus product as a thank you for being along for the ride. So there is six items in this month's bag. So interesting. Okay. So I will show you first this thing that was on the outside. This is from Kenzie. This is So Pretty Perfume. There's the packaging. Really cute. I'll go ahead and give it a spray, though, just to see. It smells a little bit musky, but a little bit sweet at the same time. I'm not really great at describing scents, like the notes and all that stuff. And it's not telling me anything about the notes on here, so I don't know. I will research this though to see if it's cruelty free or not. I do like the way it smells. It smells pretty good, so got that. Oh wait, actually look at the card. Let me see if it has the notes. So it says fruity notes of apple and tangerine with green floral notes. Hmm. Yeah, so that smells pretty good. Okay, let's see. Let's pull out the next thing. This is from Yensa. This is the Skin on Skin BC Foundation BB plus CC plus Full Coverage Foundation. That seems not likely. I just say that because BB creams are typically more light. They're not full coverage, so curious to see that. Mine is in the shade Medium Warm, which would be an okay match, I would think, for me. I'm not sure if it's cruelty-free or not. It's not saying anything on the back, so I will research that. Let's see the next thing we have. Okay, so the next thing is from Girlactic, which I'm pretty sure is cruelty free. This is the Precise Eyeliner Marker in Black. So there's that. I feel like I've tried an eyeliner from them, but I can't quite remember. I'll give it a swatch. It is just a typical felt tip. Oh, there it is. It's pretty pretty dark, so uh, not my favorite sort of liner, but I am getting more comfortable with these, so I will definitely give it a try. Okay, so this next thing is wrapped in bubble wrap. This is from Shayna B. Miami. Never heard of this brand. 
This is a blush in Bellini. It does say on the back, not tested on animals. Um, there it is. Actually, I'll show you this way so you can see. It's got like little flamingos in the pan. Really cute. I don't think this is a color really for me. It seems a little light and a little orangish for me. So I'll probably just go ahead and pass this on to somebody else. I do love blush. It's one of my favorite things to get in a bag. Um, but just not a huge fan of that color. So there's that. Okay, the next thing I have is from Tatcha. This is the Dewy Skin Cream. I'm pretty sure Tatcha is cruelty free. This is, let's see. So this is packed with ceramides to reinforce your skin's protective barrier, Okinawa algae to draw in moisture, and Japanese purple rice to give your skin a major glow. It also says tip, pop this cream in your fridge. It'll feel extra refreshing and calm puffiness when you apply. Interesting. Well, I'm just realizing now that they're putting the full size values of everything on here. I'll go over that all at the end, not to interrupt the video. But anyways, um, I'm curious to give this a try. I've heard people really love this stuff. It smells good. Like not strong, a little bit light. It does feel like, like a heavier cream. Hmm, so that's what it looks like. It has like a little bit of a purple tint to it. Huh, definitely want to give this a go. Uh, heard people really, really love this, so I'm curious to see what all the hype is about it. So glad to get that. Okay, and then the last thing I have is from Pacifica, which is cruelty free. This is the Wild Hemp Hemp Infused Eyeshadows. There's the little box right there. Um, I have tried eyeshadows from Pacifica. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. I mean, I still use them. But I think the whole thing is like, you know, they're more natural, more vegan, cruelty-free, that they appeal to that kind of person, so that person may be willing to not care as much about that kind of stuff. But I don't know, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so there it is. Definitely up my alley. Don't know if it's up the alley for the adventurous profile. So it's definitely neutral colors in there. Um, it's funny. Because I've gotten a palette from Pacifica that I've actually, I don't even think I've ever used it. Um, it's right here. But these colors definitely seem more adventurous. So this is the Beach Crystals palette. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know if it fits the profile per se, but but I'm personally excited to give it a go. I wonder if I have any color similar to this. I don't know if I do. So I also have this palette from Pacifica, which is very neutral. These are, this is the pink nudes. I don't even know if they make this stuff anymore. Um, but this definitely has more shimmers in it, so yeah, I definitely want to play around with that. So that's everything that we got for the Adventures bag. I'll real quick go over the values of everything with you so that we can see what the full size values of everything will be. So let's see. The Pacifica eyeshadow palette, this is a deluxe sample. It says the value of this product is $9. So that's what it says. The MSRP of this product is $9. So not too bad for this tiny little palette, I don't think. Okay, let's see. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, the full size value is 68 bucks, so a little bit expensive. This is also a deluxe sample. Okay, the Yensa Color and Face Skin on Skin BC Foundation. This is a deluxe sample, the full size is $38. So a little bit expensive for a BB cream in my opinion. Uh, the Shayna B Blush, this is a deluxe sample, the full size is 29 bucks. Again, a little bit expensive. Okay, and then the Girl Lactic Precise Eyeliner Marker. This is full size and it's valued at 20 bucks, so that's nice. We got that full size product. And then the last thing was the Kensi So Pretty uh, Fragrance. This is a deluxe sample. The full size is 55 bucks, which seems on par for a perfume. So overall, do I think that fits the profile of the bag? Not really. It was all pretty neutral makeup. Um, the things that weren't makeup were just basic, and I don't really hold the non-makeup things against it, but um, I don't think it really fits the profile that well. So, 
That's the first bag, the regular glam bag. I think for 12 bucks, it's definitely worth it, so I think it was a good bag. Okay, let's get into the Glam Bag Plus. I'm curious to see if there's gonna be an extra item in here. My guess would be no, because it would have to be a full-size product, unless they threw like another like deluxe sample in there for this box. Let's see, I'm gonna look at the card real quick. Okay, it says there should be six items in here as well, so let's just get started. Um, actually, I'll show you the bag first. So this one I don't love. I always like the regular glam bag so much better. So it says unstoppable right there, which I'm not, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. And that isn't the worst part, is that the back is like beige. So it looks okay like this. I don't know, it's kind of weird, not my favorite. I much prefer the regular glam bag bag. Okay, so let's see, we'll just start with this. This is the coffee scrub, and it says coconut at the top. Hmm. Okay, so it's not saying anything about being cruelty free, but it is organic. Um, I don't know. I hope it's cruelty free. I'd be interested to use this. I've heard, I've tried like coffee um, gels and things like that, and they feel nice and they're good for like morning showers and they like, keep you awake or wake you up in the morning. So I definitely would like to give this a go. This is valued at $21.99, which I think is a bit overpriced, honestly in my opinion, so. Um, I'm curious why it says coconut at the top though, so. Co the coffee scrub coconut body scrub. So I wonder if it's descented like coconut, but it's coffee, I'm not sure. I guess I'll open up and give it a sniff. I don't know why it says coconut at the top. Oh, I knew this was a bad idea and I got coffee everywhere. It definitely smells like coffee. Oh, I do smell the coconut too. Hmm, I, I'm interested to try that. That seems nice, but I don't think it's worth 21 bucks. So there's that. All right, now that I have coffee everywhere. Okay, so let's pull out the next thing. The next thing is from Complex Culture. This is some sort of brush, very pretty. We've gotten these before in something I can't remember. Um, they're very soft. This is just a weird shape though. It's like triangular. I wonder what this they're calling this for. It looks like maybe a stippling brush. Let's see. Precision concealer brush. So yeah, it seems like definitely the right shape to get into those corners. Um, I definitely will give that a try. Uh, valued at 26 bucks, which again, I think is very overpriced for what it is. It's a brush. Um, but I'm not mad to get it in this box that I only paid 25 bucks for. So there's that. Uh, the next thing I have, let's pull this out. This is from Hannah Lay. Hannah Lai, can't know, I'm not sure exactly how to say it. Uh, this is a Kuki uh, lip balm, and mine is in the scent or flavor Tropical Citrus. Let's go ahead and give her a sniff. I go through lip balm like crazy. I use it multiple times a day. I put it on bed, put it on before bed at night. I have a problem with lip balm. So uh, let's see how this one smells. Definitely smells like lemon. So I will definitely use that. It feels nice and like moisturizing like a lip balm should be. So excited to get that and it's valued. It's not on here. Okay, so this isn't on the card, so I'm wondering if this is like the bonus item. I'm not sure, but this is not on the card. But if I had to guess, it's worth like five bucks maybe. Four or five bucks. I think I used points for this. I had points that were about to expire, and that's what I got was this chapstick. That's what I got. Okay, so that, this isn't really part of the bag. This is what I just used my points on. I don't know why I just remembered that. Okay, this next thing is from... Phase Zero, there's the box right there. This is a matte liquid lipstick in, it's not giving me a color. Oh, the card says in undercover. Let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so this is the color. I'm definitely not gonna open it up. I've said a million times I have so many colors like this, so. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of matte liquid lips. They just tend to dry down in a way that I don't love. 
Actually, let's just go ahead and give it a try. Maybe, maybe this will be a good formula. There's the color. It's pretty. It's definitely a color I like. So, um, let's see how it dries down. It's a little sheer in some spots. Like, it doesn't apply super evenly on my hand anyway. Um, so, yeah, we'll give it a try. I'm not sure if I said this brand is cruelty free and this is valued at 16 bucks. So that seems a little overpriced for how small that is compared to the like size of other liquid lips. So there's that. Okay, so the next thing I have is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is a cruelty free brand. This is the Luna Liner Water Resistant Liquid Eyeliner. Packaging though is really cute. I'm not sure if you can see that. I like that it's waterproof. I've got to be honest, I don't really seek out waterproof liquid eyeliner, so I'm not sure if I've ever even tried one or that I recall trying one, so let's see. So we'll go ahead and swatch it right next to the other swatch. So it is that darker one on top, so it definitely seems like you can make a thicker line with this. Um, seems really like pigmented, so yeah, definitely excited to try that. Curious about the waterproof aspect of it, and it's valued at $18. So, not the worst price, I guess. Okay, let's see. The next thing I have is from Malin, Malin, and Goetz. I don't know how you say this brand. They are cruelty free. This is the Revitalizing Eye Gel. So, here it is. It's just like a pump, like typical eye creams. Let's go ahead and see what it feels like. So there it is on my hand. You can see it's got like that serum-y sort of vibe going on. Definitely feels like an eye cream. It doesn't really smell like anything other than like lotion, that sort of scent. So I'm getting low on my current eye cream, I think. So I think because I can't see through the thing. Like it's a pump, but that's like, you can't see through that. So I don't know how much is in here. So I'll, when I run out, I'll run out and then I'll maybe I'll go to this one. I don't think I have a backup eye cream. So Definitely excited to give that a try. It is valued at $42, so a little bit expensive, but I feel like most eye creams are. I don't know why they're so expensive, but they are. So we have one last thing in here. Uh, this is from the Balm Cosmetics. This is the Auto Balm Pick Perf. Picture Perfect. Um, I do have a couple eyeshadows from the Balm. They're pretty good. I can't get this open though. This is like such cute palette. Just the way it looks. So sorry you're gonna see a mirror. There you are. Um, so there's the colors in it. I like it a lot. I'll go ahead and swatch. Well, that's a primer. Oh nice. So this little bottom shade right here is a like a primer. Like it feels like wet or whatever. So you can see on my hand there. Interesting. These pans are so tiny though, like how cute. Which I'm into, I'm into smaller things. I feel like I can make more of a dent in them if they're smaller, like I can actually see I'm using the product. So I'll go ahead and swatch just a couple colors that are drawing my eye. So there's a couple on my fingers. They look okay. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch. Okay, so the matte shade didn't swatch the best. Um, the shimmers are pretty good. Uh, that matte shade is like a greenish brown, and I found like greens like that tend to be difficult to make. I know nothing about making makeup. I just know that every time I've had a color like that in a palette, it's just not the best performing eyeshadow. So, oh my gosh, my hands are like covered in makeup. So I'm going to wash my hands after this. But yeah, so that's everything I got in the Glam Bag Plus. I thought it fit the profile pretty well. The makeup that was in here was pretty neutral sort of colors. I enjoy everything. I think this was entirely cruelty free. I just have to research the coffee scrub. Everything else was cruelty free, so that's good. Um, let's see, which bag was better? I think I gotta go with the regular Ipsy bag. I don't know why, every month it's just always a smidge better. So, well, except for last month. I think last month 
glam band plus one in my competition that's going on only in my head. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys thought of this box, these boxes, both of them. If you get this box, what did you get in your box? Let me know in the comments down below. I always love hearing what everybody else gets in their boxes and whether they thought I got a good box or not. Uh, but that's all I have for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. If you want to see more videos like this for me, more unboxings, all that good stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. And I'll see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye.